I have removed hundreds of hornets and yellow jackets nests from people's houses. Thousands of stinging wasps. I have been stung countless times. You can see like right, right there. Blow up like yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't see that first. There it is. That's where it stung me. What are you doing? It stung me. And I've been in some pretty extreme nest removal situations that could have easily killed me. So in this video, I'm sharing the five most extreme yellow jacket super nests that I have ever removed. Stick around to the end of the video to see my top pick of my most extreme yellow jacket super nest I have ever removed. So let's first establish what a yellow jacket super nest actually is. A yellow jacket super nest is a nest that is developed for longer than a single season, but it can also be a very productive and densely populated single season colony. Now typically colonies die naturally at the end of each season due to a natural colony cycle but super nest colonies develop a second daughter colony at the end of the parent colony cycle and continue on building the nest bigger and bigger. Once this continuation occurs, these super nests can continue indefinitely creating tens of thousands of yellow jackets. So let's get into my most extreme yellow jacket super nest countdown. Nest number one, Amish super nest. So this Amish client called me, yes, called me on the phone. Come and take care of business, how hot am I? Because he was finding tons of yellow jackets inside a couple of his kids' bedrooms. So this is where the ones are coming up into the dormer. Upon inspection of one of the rooms was a nest in the boys' bedroom ceiling. But in the other bedroom, there was a massive super nest inside of the closet crawl space. There's a jug of milk. It's huge. This was a multi-season nest and had two separate comb structures, but one large envelope mass. The location of the nest was super cramped and made for removing all of the yellow jackets a literal pain. But I vacuumed everyone up and brought the nest home and fed it to my chickens, my emus, and my Rhea. Nest number two, garage super nest. This client noticed yellow jackets going into a garage at the soffit, but just thought that there were about 10 or so behind the siding. But I had to be the bearer of bad news that no, this is a colony of yellow jackets and there was a huge nest inside the structure. And this nest housed thousands of individual yellow jackets. This nest was absolutely packed with adults, pupae, and larvae, which made it a significantly heavy nest weighing around eight pounds. <laughs> because there were so many yellow jackets inside this colony, I had to count how many I vacuumed up, and I counted 5,217 yellow jackets. 5,217 yellow jackets in this vacuum. Holy crap. Okay, add it to the bag. This is a lot. I don't know how many were in here. I'm just gonna dump this in. This here is 5,000, 5,217 yellow jackets and the larvae and pupae were fed to my animals. Nest number three, Bay Window Super Nest. 
This client was noticing yellow jackets in her upstairs bathroom skylights and thought that they were just entering through the skylights themselves. So when I arrived at this client's home, I walked around the outside of her house to see where the yellow jackets were entering and I found the activity by this bump out window. I told her they were getting into her bathroom through the floor vent, so I decided to try and access the nest from the outside above the window. And this turned out to be a super nest that spanned over three seasons, which is insane. There was so much paper envelope, so I started pulling it out from the space by the fistful. I pull out all the old nests, and finally get to the current season nest and pull it out and it was absolutely massive. The swarming around me was so intense and there were so many yellow jackets in this colony. It was 20 inches of diameter and packed with larvae and pupae, and I brought it home to give it to my chickens and turkey. And since there was being so much envelope, I burned it to get rid of it. Nest number four, horse jump super nest. Not allowed to say where I'm at, but this nest is massive. And I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so, oh my god, look at that thing. Well, it wasn't, It what they were on the, it was turned the other way. Oh, really? So yeah. they flipped it over? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they were painting, I guess, and then there were too many bees, I guess. Uh -huh. And then they looked into it and found that. Yeah. <laughs> brought Big Bertha. Ugh. Rest in peace, shop vac. I'm inside the box here. Oh my god, this thing is freaking huge. Oh my god. They're already coming at me because the light's on. I'm trying not to vibrate this thing too much, but it's kind of hard not to. It's made out of wood. This particular client was the operator of a property that was used for horse show events, and they had a nest built inside of a horse jump. Since there was a horse show coming up, the nest needed to be removed. But this nest was absolutely massive and housed thousands of German yellow jackets. I bagged up this giant nest and took it home and fed it to my animals. Inside the vacuum. Nest number five, basement super nest. All right, so here's where we got colony that's very active going in and out of this spot. A little bit in this spot. This client was noticing a lot of dead and dying yellow jackets throughout his basement and primarily around the windows of the basement. So he called me to come and find the nest. And the nest is right there. Just shine my light up there for a brief second. I can hear it from here. That's right there. So that's that's a good sized nest. So we'll get it out. Within a couple minutes, I found the nest in this client's basement, and it was absolutely massive. A 
It's a massive nest. Try to be as gentle as I can. Not sure how far over it goes. Looks like it just goes over there. I started removing the insulation, exposing the incredible nest and the thousands of adult wasps. Reaching my hands up inside of a cavity and pulling out a humming nest is one of the most intense experiences. I removed this nest, brought it home, and fed it to my animals. Hurry up and eat it, Squeal. I'm getting a cramp in my arm, Squeal. Oh, what a prairie Squeal. What a prairie Squeal. So this is my top five most extreme yellow jacket super nests that I've removed. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, please consider liking this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see next. Please consider subscribing to the Hornet King channel and thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video and supporting my channel, and I'll catch you on the next video.